This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday morning, the 8th of January. James Spann here in a frigid air is the story for the weekend. Coldest air I think we've seen so far this season. Colder than the air we had about five days ago. So we are going to be in the deep freeze. Let's take a look out the window this morning and look at that. That's the Chiha Sky Cam. And yeah, that road down there is basically a, a sheet of ice. Uh, they're sitting in the teens and uh, we had uh, many accidents last night on the eastern side of the state where the cold air invaded as the moisture lingered. Uh, counties like Etowah and Calhoun, Cleburne, Randolph, Clay, Cherokee, DeKalb. So if you are driving this morning, just be aware that any moisture you see on the road, it's ice. And you don't want to be one of those statistics this morning where you you know, slam your vehicle into a bridge abutment or something like that. Just take it slow and easy. Uh, there's the uh, Huntsville Sky Cam. Uh, that is Memorial Parkway. And for a while, they actually had to close that thing yesterday because of uh, snow. And the Gadsden camera, again, uh, the secondary roads where there's moisture are very, very icy. Of course, a lot of the schools are opening late or not opening at all over there today. Here's a water vapor satellite shot, and uh, again, we've got that delivery mechanism for the Arctic air, cross-polar flow, and uh, again, a few little ripples will come down the back side of that, but the moisture is pretty much gone. There's your numbers around the fruited plain this morning. Looks like the core of the cold about 30 below zero Fahrenheit up on the uh, U.S.-Canadian border, and down here, ouch. 10 degrees for Haleyville, 13 for Cullman, Birmingham at 17. And the numbers should be lower tonight and tomorrow night and probably Sunday night. And watch warning map. The system that brought the rain and snow to Alabama yesterday is on to the northeast. Winter weather advisories up for the region there from Chicago over to Baltimore. And the uh, QPF chart for the next five days, valid through Tuesday evening at Six o'clock, showing nothing here for the northern half of the state, a little bit down south. Let's look at the modeling here. This is the 06 CGFS at noon today. And again, you can see how it's the uh, ridge trough configuration there. And down below that, it's just cold. 1040 Arctic high sitting over South Dakota. It's going to be breezy, too. That's going to keep our wind chill index in the single digits most of the day. Pretty much the same deal tomorrow. Now, here comes a strong uh, board max coming down the base of the trough near Fort, uh, Fort Smith, Arkansas. But again, the air is dry, just it's having a hard time squeezing out anything. Having said that, there might be a few flurries around uh, tomorrow with that feature. We'll mention that, but cold is the story. Highs only in the 20s, wind chill values in the single digits. Sunday, boy, the morning's going to be cold as the winds are going to be light. We'll be getting down, uh, get, getting down there toward 10 degrees, maybe some single-digit lows for the colder valleys. In fact, I think they will get single-digit lows. And Monday, the afternoon should be warmer, but by golly, Monday morning is still going to be cold. Uh, you know, the latest guidance coming in with 15 for Birmingham, and the guidance has been too warm. So I think we'll have to bump our lows for Monday morning down into the uh, 10 to 12-degree range. But by Monday afternoon, we got a, a chance at making 40, and that'll feel good. Tuesday, a strong Vortmax again rotates through here, but no moisture, so we'll leave it dry. Wednesday looks like a pretty decent day, mostly sunny, at the chance of making 50 on Wednesday as the cold air retreats. Thursday, the next system gathers off to the west, and then Friday, deep trough over the northwestern Gulf, and there's your surface low. And that looks like a big rain event for the state a week from today the, the one we showed you yesterday afternoon had this thing pretty far south well that looks a little more like it it's uh, sitting down there in new orleans and so a week from today could be pretty wet in the following day the low it moves on to the northeast and uh, it turns colder but uh, no sign of any serious snow chance on the back side of that for now end of the forecast period 23rd of january uh, that does not look all that cold uh, trough back off to the west. Really no Arctic air, but 
anything like that is suspicious with the uh, AO staying so negative. So we'll keep an eye on things. But, of course, needless to say, that is way out there in the land of voodoo. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless. Each day, there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.